Was the Old Testament Yahweh a genocidal God? A Biblical Reply Many folk feel shocked by the apparent genocide commanded in the Old Testament of the Holy Bible. They contrast this with the New Testament in which Jesus said, Love your enemies. This has led some to condemn the Old Testament God, or even to reject the Bible and all it says. Here are some offensive texts. At the Great Flood I have determined to make an end of all flesh, for the earth is filled with violence through them. Behold, I will destroy them with the earth. And all flesh died that moved on the earth, birds, livestock, beasts, all swarming creatures that swarm on the earth, and all mankind. At the Conquest of Canaan Every person they struck with the edge of the sword until they had destroyed them, and they did not leave any who breathed. Joshua, left nothing undone of all that the Lord had commanded Moses, in order that they should be devoted to destruction and should receive no mercy but be destroyed, just as the Lord commanded Moses. In the Kingdom of Israel This is what the Lord Almighty says. Go, attack the Amalekites and totally destroy all that belongs to them. Do not spare them, put to death men and women, children and infants, cattle and sheep, camels and donkeys. Thus those who seek to defame the God of the Bible, or to condemn the Bible for its excessive cruelty, seem to have a good argument. However, some Bible critics make a basic mistake in the interpretation of literature. They ignore the text's context. An evil race? According to the Bible, there were tribes in the land whose ancestors had intermarried with evil creatures whose descendants were unusually tall and who remained in rebellion against Yahweh, the God of Israel. Before the Flood The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also afterward, when the sons of God came into the daughters of man, and they bore children to them. These were the mighty men who were of old, the men of renown. After the Flood The land, through which we have gone to spy it out, is a land that devours its inhabitants and all the people that we saw in it are of great height. And the we saw the Nephilim, the sons of Anak, who come from the Nephilim, and we seem to ourselves like grasshoppers, and so we seem to them. It was precisely these tribes and these alone that Israel was to annihilate. The Israelites were to allow the other tribes in the land to emigrate. During the conquest, the Lord your God will push them back before you and drive them out of your sight, and you shall possess their land, just as the Lord your God promised you. Therefore, be very strong to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the Law of Moses. Conclusion According to Dr. Heiser, it is the giant Anakim targeted for utter destruction. The motivation is inextricably linked to the idea that rival gods seek to prevent Yahweh's people from re-establishing the kingdom of God on earth. Yes, it's certain that other people were killed in the combat, but the Anakim were the rationale for required killing. Other peoples could have simply been driven out and displaced without being killed but not the Anakim.